Hey guys, it's Ellen here. Woo! This is a long tutorial today. <laughs> I didn't realize how long it was. I'm yapping away as I'm painting. We're painting a southwestern landscape. Um, I show you how to sketch this out. It's pretty simple, but really, it's you don't really need a sketch. But if you're a Patreon member, I have a sketch there that you can download and go buy that. But really, again, the the sketch I teach you how to draw the little cactuses and the branches and just a little aloe in the front. We're just gonna just flush in color. We're gonna have fun. Don't get so serious. Take your time. So uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. And uh, don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know when tutorials are up. And if you're not a Patreon member, want to become one, you can hit that little I on the corner or just hit the link in the description box. You know, how you see the description box is that you click those words in capital letters called show more under the description and the whole box drops down. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so I'm going to go over my supplies. If a six by nine inch piece cotton, a uh, piece of, excuse me, arches 100% cotton cold pressed paper, I tape it down to um, just a piece of cardboard with some scotch tape. You can use whatever tape you need to use. And if you want a piece of cardboard or a piece of wood, whatever works for you. Um, my palette, I'll go over the paints as I use them. Um, my paint brushes as well. And everything's in the description box. Like I tell everybody all the time, they're like, hey, where can I find it? Well, there's a description of the tutorial. And after you see the description, you'll see these words in like light gray letters and capitals, show more. Click on those words, show more, and the whole box drops down and you can scroll down to see all the supplies and links to them. Um, paper towels, water jars. Now, if you're a Patreon member, I just threw up the sketch uh, on Patreon. So if you want to download that, and the link is in the description box again. <laughs> uh, if not, you know, this is just a simple, landscaped uh, you know really doesn't require much uh you know uh art skills and we're going to just be painting really it's just about, it's about moving the paint around and whatnot so you're going to figure out your my kind of kind of loose horizon line would be like right here three quarters of the way down and i'm going to have my mountain just coming up over here going down like another little one here then i have another side mountain coming down here and here, and then we have some little mountains just going down like that. And you see this? So they get the mountain here. This is the um, horizon. We got some mountains coming down here. And don't get so stuck on if it doesn't look exactly the same. It should be whatever. And then I'm gonna have some like cactuses. I think they call the sequoia cactuses. So basically, line with a little curve on top here another one connecting and you kind of want them having going outward they could be straight up and down but really kind of like having them going wider at the bottom skinnier at the top then you do these little curved ones coming from it just like you see in all the books then i have a couple a couple little ones over here same thing you know space them out and then really we're gonna be i mean i drew in for the patreon tutorial but really it just makes more sense just to paint it than draw it. You're gonna be putting in a branch over here and a little one down here. And we're gonna be flushing in colors. It's just gonna, and then I have like a little aloe plant, just these pointy little leaves up here. Flushing in, just gonna be flushing in bushes, you know, just like this. I mean, the sketch is just a guide to where the bushes go. So some bushes over here, and then another tree, you know, there's some tree branches here. But like I said, it's more of just about painting than it is about having a sketch done. I just have kind of like a rough sketch to give an idea where I want the paint to go. And we're going to be working in the beginning with, well, the sky could be blues. The skies could be, you know, pinks and yellows. Um, you can have a sunset if you want. You don't have to be stuck on what I'm doing. Um, just putting that little mountain in there. It looks kind of silly. I'm going to fix my little mountains. They look looking kind of goofy. You just tone them down a bit. Um, so do whatever what you like. You know, I know that the, this, uh, the mountains are going to be some purples and some rust colors, and then we get a lot of lush greens, even though it's desert, um, and some various tones of browns and beiges. So let's work on this guy. I always like to do this guy first. I'm just going to grab my Princeton Neptune number 12. I'm just going to get it wet. I'm going to do wet on wet with this one. Actually, I still have a color on my brush. Goodness. 
slight pink in there. <laughs> so I'm just going to wet the area above the, the mountains. Just like that. Just get that all wet. You can see how damp it is. I think I'm going to work it with blues. I mean, I could do some yellows and blues. I have the Prussian blue here. I'm going to mix with some Van Dyke brown. Tone it down just a bit. Although I might want it brighter. And I got the peacock blue next to the Prussian blue. I like to keep both next to each other. I like to mix them up. Check out my color tone. Oop, there's a green up there. I'll just add some more blue. I do want to add some kind of yellow orange over here. So I've got the cabin yellow deep. I'm going to grab some uh, quinacridone magenta. Say that fast. <laughs> Uh, mix the two, little orange color here. So I need to throw in some yellow orange down here just a little bit. Just playing around with color. Then I'm gonna throw in some blue. Ooh, that's a little too bright. If that happens, you can just go in either add color or take it out. I'm just gonna take some of it out and add some of the brown. Get a little darker. It got a little too bright for me. Just kind of doing this swooping motion, going kind of like downward. Get it down here too. I wanted a little blue next to this because this is going to be rust. But you can keep it in those like desert tones, you know. I'm going to go and add some of this orange. So I've got the magenta mixed with the yellow. Just going to add some orange. Just a little bit. I'm like kind of making up the sky, actually. I mean, have fun with it. No one says you have to have a certain kind of looking sky. I can make up my own sky, right? Come back and add some of that yellow. Kind of like a sunset, and then I'm going to add some more blue. I know people get bogged down into seriousness of, you know, how a sky should look. And if you're feeling like, Ugh, I don't like it, just grab some paper towel and you want to put some clouds in. Just tap that in. Tap that clouds coming down. See, I'm just throwing in some clouds now. This is your simple cloud technique. <laughs> One way to do it. I'm just going to take out the paint. Right? And then we have this really cool sky. Just tapping it. It's just one way to do it. Taking out some of that orange. It's a little too bright. Go back in and add some more yellow. Which I preferred over the orange. Where I took away some of that paint, I just added some of that yellow. Just playing around with the colors. So it's almost there. I'm going to put a little cloud here. See if I like that. It's a good thing to step up, step up and step away. Uh, pick it like it's just a little too. Took that color and I'll add some blue. Now if the blue hits the L, it's going to add a little green tones. So you might want to play around with that. Going to get a little deeper. Don't want to play around too much because then the paper starts to get all, it beads a little bit. So I'm going to go back in here again and add some deeper blue. So I'm just tapping with this big brush, tapping it around up in here too. Good to have a big brush. And it helps to step back. I'm sitting up on my chair. And as you can see me here, and I'm moving this cloud, looks a little goofy. So I'm just going to take that a little bit. Just soften it up a bit. 
You don't want it to be look unrealistic. And then I'm going to go add some deeper tones in the blue. A little brighter up in here. Just tapping the color and see I'm just tapping it. I'm going to get this wild sky. And again, like I said, if you're not still happy with it, just take it out a little bit. Not too much. Natural looking. Just playing around with taking out some of the white. I mean, give me the color. A little more here. Like I said, it helps to stand up and step away. And I'm going to add a little more dark up and over here with the Prussian blue and peacock blue mixture. It's kind of like an adding subtracting situation. Just to get just right. And then over in here. Okay, I don't want to play around too much. cloud right there with the yellow I'm taking some more cloud away okay see I'm standing up and I'm like I like that it's kind of this funky sky okay that part's done and then play around with it your sky can look totally different you can add more um you want know, sunset colors, oranges and reds and yellows. But we're just, I wanted to do blues because a lot of this is going to be down here. It's going to be some oranges and some rusty colors and then some greens. So now I'm taking the same brush. Uh, if this is not too wet, it might be too wet. I can start flushing in some of the colors down in here. I have um, olive green here and I have Van Dyke brown. I'm going to be doing some like olive brown green color tones it doesn't have to be perfect like I said we're going to just be flushing in see I'm just kind of taking the same brush this is the Princeton 12 Neptune's kind of a big floppy brush see, I'm just kind of pushing that paint around all around here put some yellow tones in here We're doing some yellow tones and blue tones in with this green. You could paint around this, what do they call it, a sequoia? No, that's not a sequoia, a sequoia tree. I forget what they call the, those big cactuses. I'm sure somebody's going to know. <laughs> Everybody knows. Just flushing in this green color here. Plop, plop, plop. Just give me an idea where I want everything to go. We can take some of the yellow and the Van Dyke brown. Just wash in some rusty golden tones. Some more of that brown. I'm taking my brush. See, I'm hitting the paper. I'm taking my brush and grabbing some more water and kind of just pushing that around. Some of this brown. We can grab some of the quinacridone magenta mixed in with the yellow and you're getting that orangey, rustic brown. This is not going to be a realistic desert. Okay, I'm going to just take some of that out for now. And I'm going to flush in some more of this green. If you lose your Cactus, you can just go right back in. We can paint it a little bit darker color. Grabbing some more green. I'm going to mix it with some of the Prussian blue. So some blue greens. You can also do um, masking fluid. But I wouldn't get so worried about it. I mean, you can always paint the cactus a darker color. So I'm just kind of pushing in on all these different green tones. I have blue ones, 
See, I'm just tapping it in while I'm waiting for this area to dry to go and do the mountains. You can get some real concentrated green brown tones. So I've mixed the Van Dyke brown with the green, olive green, a little bit of Prussian blue. I'm just going to tap in some really dark greens. Less water, I'm trying to use less water. So it's a lot darker. Get in some of this Prussian blue right in there. So it's this deep dark green. Same thing over here. I'm just going to be doing a lot of different greens. The front is going to be like this sagey kind of bluish green. So I mix the olive green with this Prussian blue and get it really watered down. And I'm just going to push around this color. See, I'm just kind of pushing it around. This bluish green color. This is an abstract kind of desert painting. This isn't serious. Again, going back in here and adding that tone. It's dried, so now it's got more of a hard edge. And then we can add some of that blue. And maybe some more of this rustic color. And again, I had that uh, Aolo painting, I mean, so Aol drawing in the front. I could mask around it or I could just paint around it like I just did there. Can add some more brown greens because that would be like more of a bluish green. So you're just tapping in all these different tones. We'll add in some branches. Can put some across like this. It's just a variety of different greenery. Okay, while well that's drying a little bit, we're gonna go and start to do some rustic colors. So I have my cadmium yellow deep and I have my quinacridone magenta. I've got this orangey color tone. I'm gonna start pushing that in over here. And just be careful painting around the cactus. If you mess up, don't worry about it. See, mine's not perfect. I'm going to flush that cactus in in a bit. So this is kind of like the first mountain section. Like I said, don't get caught up in all how it looks. And then we're going to do, we're going to add a little more yellow to this. I'm going to push this color right out here. I'm going to add some red tones some more red rusty color. So I've added more magenta. I'm going to grab the Van Dyke Brown, cadmium yellow deep. I'm going to get this rusty color going here. A little browns. Just like that. You can add some more yellow up and over in here too. More orange tones. If you wanted a nice big orange color. You're playing around with just rusty orange red tones. You like the Southwest. Go and add some brown in here. It's gonna have a shadow on the side. Get really deep with this brown here. Might add a little Prussian blue mixed in just to get it a little bit darker. See? I'm going to add some of that brown down here too. Along with some green. It's this combination of brown, greens, yellows, oranges. I'm just going to flush another orangey yellow color down here. Just like that. Don't get crazy if your mountain seems, you know, not working for you. And I'm just going to tap little dots of this orangey color. Not too watery because it's already watery. So I want to get more of a concentrated orange color. So the really 
minimal water. I got the yellow and the red. I'm making this orange. Just gonna tap little taps. I can grab some Van Dyke round too. Do 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 little teeny taps. So it bleeds a little bit. Kind of like dots, but you want to like tap it just a little bit. I kind of want it to look like, you know, little rocks putting out little dots, you know. So it's like rough terrain. The mountains are not like smooth. They have all kinds of rough terrain. You can add some greens to that. Like I said, it's a little rough terrain. So it's going to bleed a little bit, and that's what we want. We don't want this perfect little dot. See, I'm kind of pushing the paint a little bit. Gonna grab some of this brown with the blue. Maybe a little black. Gonna get this dark, rusty color going here on this side. So like the sun's been hitting this way coming up this way but like I said this is supposed to be playful it doesn't have to be this serious looking you know <laughs> mountain now these ones over here can be brown and bluish I mean purplish so I'm gonna take my Prussian blue there's a lot of green over here and I'm gonna add my magenta with my Prussian a little more Prussian. So it's almost like an ultramarine, but a little bit more purpley. I'm going to stick that light tune. Remember, don't hit that cactus because that's going to be a different color than that. It's a little too purpley. All right, a little more blue. It could be purple, though. You can make it very colorful. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. Gonna go tr very carefully around that cactus. I'm still using this big brush. Why not? I'm just gonna fill in this mountain. It might be a little too dark. I might want to make it a little bit lighter, but just play around with that. You can just add some water, and it will just move the paint around, and it will lighten up the. It is gonna dry lighter too. The color. Oops, I kind of killed that cactus a little bit. If you hit the top of it, just grab a paper towel. Kind of move that paint. You do your best not to hit that. Or use masking fluid. I'm trying to do it without it. So we're just making these nice little mountains. And that bluish tone bluish purple tone. So it's kind of like an ultramarine with a little bit more of the pink in there, red. There we go. So we're building this guy up. Meanwhile, we're going to have to wait for that section because we can do the mountain under here, but we can't do that one. And that one could be more on the brown blue side. That looks more like blue green. I'm going to add a little more brown to that. It's not cooperating. I want it a little more brown. <laughs> See, I have mistakes too. So it's turning out to be like a brown green, but that's okay. I could go back over it with a color. Again, I'm trying not to hit that cactus. I can add a little red to it too. You want these different layer mountains. I can go back in and add some magenta. That will change it also. And a little more Van Dyke Brown. 
I feel that I've played around with it too much. Going in and adding some purples. <laughs> Sorry guys. It's the, the multicolored mountain. Like I said, this is no, there's no particular way you have to do this. Just enjoy it. I'm gonna go back into front now and play around with uh, blue greens again and adding some more just bushes. See, I'm just gonna plop, 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 tap, tap. Gonna add some more bright yellow green ones back here. A little more yellow. Gonna add some more yellow on the tip of this area. We just want to add some nice multicolored bushes going around every section. Like I said, just tapping in the color. This is not like this super realistic southwestern painting. So I'm just tapping in the color. Just like this. get even darker still to bushes see I'm adding a real deep dark green in here less water or paint get some brown same thing over here I'll another one over here to balance that one out And I'll take some Van Dyke Brown. I'm just like a little, with a little Payne's Gray, go across like that. The shadow. Add another dark bush over in here. Just keep adding. And it's good, like I said, stand up and just see how your your design is coming out. Just many layers. I'm going to add another dark bush over here. Put some lines. I had bushes in front of the cactuses, which I drew in. It kind of got blended out. So I'm going to try and put some back in. And I'm going to grab some of this magenta and yellow. Get some oranges. I'm gonna try and flush in some. The picture that I'm going by is a friend that took this photograph and um, make it more abstract. But I'm adding in some more browns. The foreground is less browns, a lot of green actually. Surprising you would think. But it's more like these bushes. So your eye just sees like a mound of green with hints of brown. But I'm taking the liberty which I think everyone should do, and just play around adding colors that they like. You know, it wasn't in the picture, but I'm putting in some rustic browns and oranges. That's what I want to do. And even over in here. I'm going to add some of this rustic yellow. I think it's good to play around if you feel like it got too crazy here, like again, you can take some uh, water, go across it, grab your paper towel, just lift up some of the paint. You know? Just like that. And then I can go back in and add some of that rustic color. A little more orange tones. I'm just playing around, flushing in all the color, I'm trying to keep my all uh, olive, aloe, kind of separate because I'm going to make this pretty pale green. All right, this mountain area should have dried by now, and we're going to go and flush that. You can keep it in the same color veins of the blues and the purples. I might want to add a little more. 
rustic colors again. I think the photograph that I have is more browns, but I'm, like I said, I'm taking liberty. I'm gonna go add in the rustic color. It's my interpretation of their photograph. And I, th I suggest you guys do that with, with a lot of your stuff. Now I'm gonna add the Van Dyke Brown to that. Have some fun. Don't think that you have to follow every single color that you see. Adding a little more of that purple. See, I'm stepping back. Yeah, I like that. Gonna add some of this purple down here too. The bushes. I'm just constantly adding in some deeper, darker tones all over. And then here I can keep going and playing with the, um, you know, they have those ridges kind of in the on those terrains. Can add some more reds, reds, rustics. Just give it the good old southwestern look. Now you really can see the cactus, right? I'm highlighting the colors behind it. And we're gonna paint that in soon. Some more of this rustic color going across. I suppose I could have done masking fluid on that, but I didn't. I chose not to. Now I'm looking at this other cactus, so it has a bunch of different things going on over here. And you don't even have to put the cactus in. And it still seems like southwest, right? Okay, a little darker colors here. Gonna grab some of my peacock blue, excuse me, Prussian blue. Gonna go back in here. Get this deeper color in here. Just going right back over that. It's good to step away, step back, and see how it's looking. Okay. See, I just used this whole big brush this whole time. I'm not going to use it for the other stuff, though, because it's going to be... Now I see this little light green area. It kind of looks goofy, right? I'm going to have to fill that in. Grab some of my green, maybe a little bit of brown. Just tapping that in. So it's not as goofy goof. Okay, I think that's good. Now we're going to go in and I'm going to take my number eight long round. Be careful to try to paint the um, the cactuses now because you got a lot of paint around it that's wet. And so be careful. I could do the, the aloe because I can feel that it's dry here. So I'm going to make that, you know, it's like a blue green. It's like a sagey blue green color. So I mix my Prussian blue with my olive green. Got this nice little pretty sagey blue green color. And I'm just going to flush that in. Just like so. And again, you didn't have to do an owl plant. You could do whatever you want. You could do like one of those other kind of cactus. Um, once that's dry, I'm going to go in and play around with the edges, the little prickly edges. Now that I have this still kind of damp, I'm going to go in and take my number four round brush. So I got three brushes today. Grab the Van Dyke Brown. Going to mix it with some black. Brown and black. I'm going to make some of those branches. Very minimal water. 
So I've sketched in, you can see in the sketch that I did, you sketched a branch coming over here. We'll have to wait for that one. We have to fill in the cactus, but we can do some here and over here. Let me just move that out of the way. So we're just going to take the brush, going to just make these little teeny funky little branches right around the bushes because that's what's going on. And there's quite a bit of the branches. Um, put one out here. I didn't actually just make the really funky, can make them bending. All kinds of crookedy, deserty branch. Just put all that in. It's a wild branch. Put a few of these in here. A lot of branches. There's like another one coming here in the front. I don't have it in the sketch, but as I go, I'll put some in. Now they're desert branches, so they're going to be wonky, kind of wild. So now this is dry in here. I want to paint my. Um, Cactus, so I can put the branches over there. I'm just going to put some more branches down in here. I think I feel like my landscape got a little darker than I wanted to in the foreground, but that's okay. So I'll use the Princeton 8 to do the cactus. I want it like a yellowish green, the tinge of brown. So I did the olive green, a little Van Dyke brown, yellow. I'm going to just flush in, not too much water, the first layer of the green cactus. This one kind of blends into the background. So we're going to add in some shadows to help it punch it up a little bit. And of course, those little lines that go in a cactus. So it looked like I blended right in, didn't it? Just gonna go in and grab that same paint and make little brush marks like let me grab a little more green so I made that branch in the front I'm just gonna go ahead and add some of this foliage to the branch just tapping it in like this we can do the same thing here just these little taps so see it looks like foliage da, 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 da. just like that can add some darker tones. At this point, you can add, you know, they have like the tumbleweed kind of grasses. I'll grab my number four, get my brown, mix with the yellow. Just put some grasses, kind of like in a circular, you know, the tumbleweed looks like. Make it a little brown. We're in a variety of, you know, foliage and grasses. I'm adding some more, just kind of like grassy kind of look out here. So now we're going to have to go back in with the aloe and add some deeper tones. So I've added a little more blue, a little more brown, uh, green. A little more blue, and I'm going to go like this, darker color on the outer edge, and then take some water, 
kind of push that around in here. Just like that. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. Could even darker on the crease right in here in front. And down here. This is a bunch of layering, you know what I'm saying? This is the cactus still damp. You have to feel around, and make sure it's not too wet. I think it's like a deep, <laughs> a deep old southwestern look today. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab some yellow. Make this really make this like bright chartreusey kind of green. It's kind of flush. Or I could just take some yellow paint itself, water it down. Grab even whatever brush you have. I'm just grabbing the whatever one I was working with. I'm just kind of pushing it around over in here. I'm gonna brighten up some of these greens. See, I'm just moving this yellow around in here. That's how you layer on top of another color just to brighten it up. I'm just gonna brighten up some of these greens. I feel like it's gotten too dark. Again, I'm gonna grab the yellow. I'm just gonna go across here. Almost like a dry brush technique. I'm gonna grab some of this magenta and get that rusty brown. Just like that. Play around with it. All right, so at this point, the cactuses should be somewhat dry. We're going to take a deeper, darker green. We're just going to make those little lines that go down the cactus in the middle. And on the outside. And so it's kind of blended. We're going to have to grab some even darker paint. Just hit the side of that. Mostly on the right side, because you see the shadow dark over here. Again, put the lines down right in the middle of the cactus and on the little arm, arms. And then you just grab the darker paint. You can even almost grab some black and go on the side. here just so you can see it I'm gonna grab some dark art tune go right around those little arms so you can see it and then do all the little details of the lines going up and down the darker green you know if it blends into the into the landscape, that's fine too, because it's not this goofy tree, you know, I'm a tree, um, cactus standing out in front of everything. It's not supposed to be. Could add some darker tones next to it, just so it punches up a little bit more. And you can see it. And then I'm gonna add a little bush in front. See, just like that. Tap, 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 tap. Step back and see if you can see them well enough. And like I said, if you want them really dramatic, go in and take some, like, even like black, and just put it right on the edge of the cactus, right on the side. Now I'm gonna add that branch on the side over the cactus that, you didn't, that was in the sketch. Get my black and brown colors. And it's just like this wonky little desert tree that's kind of like dried up. Dried up. 
you want to put little desert flowers in the front you could do that little new yellow flowers have fun with this guys you know add more cactuses in the foreground doesn't have to look just like this just giving you some ideas what to do I know people like all kinds of landscapes and I'm like you know I actually have to be working on some southwestern ones for um, one of my licensing clients I figured when I do a tutorial get myself warmed up if I have to paint some other ones going forward if you want to paint another tree like I have this tree over here you can barely see it but you can have even another bigger branches coming on this side on the right hand side this is that wonky tree just funky branches coming down just like that but you want it over the cactus so it should be a little darker and bigger there we go I tend to like to use <laughs> black wash because it really just pops things right out. And now I'm going to use a little bit on the edge of this cactus so it seems like you can see it. And here. Just like that. You can see it better. And then the branches down in here. Now for that aloe, let's finish it off the edge. Do like this scalloped. Doop, 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 scallop on the edge. Pointy, pointy scallop edge. And you can go back in again and add some various tones just so it doesn't seem this goofy little aloe plant. And like I said, play around with all the little branches if you like I said you want to add some uh, yellow desert flowers in the front and just grab the yellow almost concentrated and you can just put some just put some yellow flowers like this see it's concentrated um, watercolor but it, you can still use it almost like wash and just adding in these yellow desert flowers tap 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 with the little number four brush you can have purple ones in too. You, know, you see a lot of the purple flowers in the desert too. I'm grab some of my magenta and my blue and make a purple. I'm going to put just some purple ones over here. It might not come out as pretty as the yellow because it's a darker color. Or you can just use some magenta. Yeah, it comes out a little darker. The yellow looks nice. And then you can just take some of the green. Draw just tiny little stems to the little flowers. Just like another touch. Put some greens out here again. Crisscross. Crisscross applesauce. See? I'm always like another dimension here. And I go back in and I grab some of that yellow again. And I'll just go on the top of those. Make this a little bit bigger. It's not in the sketch, but see, this is how I paint intuitively. I just kind of add as I go. And I think that's pretty much it. Like I said, just play around with colors. Um, what not. This is kind of like my first landscape of Southwest on YouTube. How do you like that? So don't get freaked out. Take your time. You just, I just plopped in color. I might have gone a little lighter in the beginning so that this could be a little bit lighter down here, but that's okay. I kind of like it where it is. There we go. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know my tutorials. It's a long tutorial, by the way. And um, if you're a Patreon member, download the sketch. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Take care, guys, and I'll speak to you soon.